Howdy all! Welcome to Adventures of Kendall. Today, we're going back to Utah to show you a unique land art piece. It is called the Spiral Jetty, and it's right on the shore of the Great Salt Lake. So let's get going and see this unique piece of art known as the Spiral Jetty. I'm here at the Great Salt Lake in Utah, and I found something interesting. Let's go check out the Spiral Jetty. Robert Smithson was an American artist known for his sculpture and land art. He used drawing and photography in relation to spatial arts. He was one of the founders of the land art movement. Smithson chose the site due to the color of the water and the relationship of the location to the primordial sea. He was attracted to the site due to the stark anti-pastoral beauty. There are industrial remnants in the area from the Golden Spike National Historic Site, as well as the old pier and a few old oil wells. The spiral jetty forms a coil jutting out from the shore of the lake in a spiral path that is 15 feet wide and 1,600 feet long. The jetty was constructed entirely out of mud salt crystals, and basalt rocks. Work began on the jetty in April 1970. The work was constructed twice, the first time requiring six days. After contemplating the result for two days, Smithson called the crew back and had the shape altered to its present configuration, an effort requiring moving 7,000 tons of basalt rock during the additional three days. The construction was documented in the 32 minute color film titled Spiral Jetty. This film was shown at exhibitions about the jetty and art galleries. Now that we've learned the history of the Spiral Jetty, just sit back and relax as we explore this unique land art installation. Come on. And here we are, the coil within the spiral jetty. It is the centerpiece of this giant work of art. Not only do you get a great appreciation for the land art you're in, but also a great view of the Utah landscape. It's a great bonus for anyone visiting the best example of land art I have ever seen. Boy, did I have a great time exploring the Spiral Jetty. But now, let's head back to the studio. I hope you had a great time learning about the Spiral Jetty. It was a fascinating art installation and I had a great time exploring it especially in a unique place like the Great Salt Lake. Speaking of unique places, we're heading back to Southern California to learn about Surf Ridge, a long gone neighborhood with a fascinating history involving LAX. But until then, if you have a location for us to go on, comment or email down below. We would love to see suggestions and also subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We would love to see your faces. Now that's all the time we have here in Adventures of Kindle. See you later, folks, and may your gifts bless the world.